It doesn't matter how you get there, so long as you take the journey. Come along as I adventure finding rainbows, smiling along the way, and experience another educational moment. Scalea takes its name from Scala, which means ladder or stair in Italian. It reflects the terrace layout on a hillside at the bottom of the Capo Scaleo Promontory. The old city sits within a preserved set of ancient walls, while the beach at its base was developed into a modern shopping and leisure center known as Scalea Marina. Toward the end of the 7th century, Scalea was occupied by the Lombards and it remained their colony up until Charlemagne's conquest of Italy in the 800s. The Lombards built the city's fortress, its two gates, and many surrounding homes that linked together functioning as a wall. The city's main military gate sat at the top, guarded by a Gestaldo fortress, which was later converted by the Normans into a castle, additional housing, and Piazza Simalonga. The interior of Scalea is an intricate maze of stairs, alleys, wide streets and plaza, support beams and arches. One of the defining characteristics of the historic center is Subuarti, with wooden floors built above the alleyways, born out of the need for defensibility and for growth in dense limited space. Scalea was bombed by Allied forces during World War II. The homes comprising Scalea's historic center were gradually abandoned, with many former inhabitants moving to new developments constructed just south of Scalea throughout the 1960s. In 2013, an anti-mafia operation was conducted, which resulted in 38 people, including the mayor of Scalea, five city councilors, and several municipal employees being arrested and charged with maintaining political ties to the Indragheta crime family. Several more councillors resigned as a result, and the city was placed under a provisional commissioner appointed by the central government. Every August, Italian cities empty out and seemingly all of Italy heads down to Scalea and the surrounding area. It boasts miles of beautiful beaches dotted with bright umbrellas and loungers just waiting for tourists to enjoy. I'm not afraid of